everybody, this is Urgent 99 and today we're going to be talking to the Dark Zone officer and doing the first Dark Zone reconnaissance mission. While we watch Nomad staring out on the Situation Room. <sighs> yeah, Dark Zone Hello XP. Agent, are you ready to start exploring the Dark Zones? Hire your DZ level becomes. Get proficiency caches. If you're killed while a rogue, more XP is lost when disavowed. Even more when a manhunt. So eventually, so apparently, you know, you do certain things, you get marked as a rogue. You keep doing it, uh, you'll be considered. You'll be uh, disavowed by the division, and then you will get because the manhunt. Oh, it's you. You can get different item, different uh, DZ perks. I don't play the Dark Zone because you know, I don't I don't do PvP in these kind of games because it's it's typically a matter of gear and not skill, or it's a matter of getting ganked by a group. So let's go ahead and check out the first recon mission. This is an emergency. There's been an explosion near Capital Station. It must have ruptured some of the containers of DC-62 because now there's shit billowing all over the place. We need to evac now. Well, that ain't no good. Dark Zone East was evacuated after an explosion scattered DC-62 in a large radius around Capitol Station. They eventually walled the entire area to try to contain the spill. Yeah, except it's airborne. Uh, it can't be that. This is an emergency. There's been an. All right. So we'll fast travel this main mission. Walk a couple blocks to get there. Hello, these guys. These are the ambushers. There are two mi there are two minor factions in the game. There's the ambushers and the cultists, and I think these are actually the cultists live underground, have chains, their big elites have uh, chainsaws. For some reason every faction's got armored fatty boys. Uh, true sons. These will be easy.
was sealed off. Soft car was left behind. You'll need to get in, map the site, reactivate the security protocols at the control room, and collect whatever you can while you're there. But first, you need to reach the gate. I swear, I saw a budge there for a second. Listen, we're not gonna walk away from all the goodies just waiting for us in there. Fuck! Okay, okay! One more try, but that's it! <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting in there with that, pal. Goodbye. It would seem that you are not the only one interested in what lies beyond those walls. Go open the gate. Agent in need of backup. There is an inactive checkpoint beyond the main gate. You'll need to go through the checkpoint to reach the contaminated site. Yeah. So yeah, the, uh, the the dark zones in the first division were contaminated with green poison. In Washington D.C., they're contaminated with DC-62. A substance which was supposed to kill the Green Plague, uh, only that then they found out that uh, that DC-62 is toxic to humans at certain temperatures. Once you're inside, you'll need to create a map of DZ East. and perform a scan. You're really lucky to have Isaac at your disposal. Okay. I used to live by Capitol Station. When the crisis hit, I volunteered to help set up the quarantine. The team primarily consisted of first responders. Everyone just wanted to help out. We were guarding the supply depot. Countless vaults concealed the contaminated dead and the containers filled with DC-62. I was lucky. I can't say the same for most of my friends. Yeah. Let's see, lots of containers. people trying to scavenge supplies. They may find what they need, but not without paying a price. Greed can be a powerful motivator. Personally, I believe it's a demon. Greed possesses you. Before you know it, you've lost yourself. Be careful. Damages that we're putting out is significant. I was doing 10,000 damage a shot. You see, 6K. You see, 
my armor has gone up significantly. That's because dark zones in this game are normalized. Area scan location identified. You'll need to leave with a complete map of the site. Go there and perform a scan. enemies are going to be powerful, but you're powerful too. It's supposed to help normalize PvP, but until you have instances where groups aren't allowed and different DZ levels aren't allowed to kill mingle. Initiate not. area scan. This should look shiny the Echo turn, seems right? to be located by the body storage vault. Assault rifle, just too bad they're unstable as hell. You have to find that balance between rate of fire, damage, and stability. Otherwise, you're just throwing lead and you're not hitting anything. Which kind of defeats the purpose. the accident happened, there was no time to investigate the cause of the explosion. Sorry, we're getting off mission. Head to the safe room. The main controls for the security system are in this building. Before the last volunteers left, they shut down the security system to try and seal the site. Once you've accessed this control room, you'll need to find the main control panel and switch the system back on. DZE security systems have been reactivated, but you will need to bring the turrets back online at the checkpoint.
Leaving Tot Zone. Contaminated gear detected. A significant amount of advanced and powerful weapons were also left behind as a result of the evacuation. The military wanted to make sure that their supplies were well protected. These weapons have now become available to anyone who dares to enter the Dark Zone. So typically you get your best gear for your tier out of the Dark Zone. You just have to fight all the other players for them. But if you PvP enough, you can usually get good enough deals. Contaminated gear you collect from the dark zone will need to be helo extracted and go through decontamination. Get to an extraction point and shoot your flare to request a helo to collect your gear. Extraction point identified. This I always thought was stupid because it does nothing but make you a target. It's like, yeah, you've got a sealed container, as you can see I'm wearing beneath my backpack. It's like, just keep it in the sealed container and deliver it to decontamination in person. Once you fired a flare to request an extraction, wait for the helo to arrive. Once it does, secure whatever you need to be extracted onto the helo. Just remember, unless your gear is airborne, someone else can claim it. Don't trust anyone. Chopper inbound. Extraction called for. Yeah. It just makes a big mark. It'll say that you've requested an extraction. And people will buffet you. Extraction helo. To you. Almost within range. Helo in place. Helo arrived. Like moths to a flame. We're done here. Head back to the checkpoint and activate the turrets. Hilo is returning to base. You can cut the cord when it's sitting there in standby as it's waiting to leave. You can go rogue and cut the cords and it'll drop anyone's loot that was around onto the ground. So you can sift through it. But you're probably going to have to deal with them because they're going to want to freaking kill you. How the hell did they get in? Get those turrets back online, and take out any hostiles while you're at it.
easy east and get to the shade terminal nearby. You'll need to upload the map onto the shade network so your fellow agents can go in and gather supplies. Exiting dog zone. Uploaded to the network. This means any agent can use your map to extract supplies from the area. But be careful. I've seen the best people do terrible things because of greed. That includes agents. Point well taken. It says there's a vendor. Try to avoid, like I said, being in here. Uh, it's just a sell point. It's not an actual vendor. But that's the dark zones in a nutshell. You can also, to get around, you can also fast travel to any of these uh, DZ entrances. Which is interesting because there's a uh -huh. there's some on the north end of the map. You also have uh, landmarks, uh -huh. which grant dark zone experience as well as big guys to kill for contaminated items. You just have to deal with all the people who are going to try and kill you too. But that's it for this episode. Merging that and on. I'll see you next time.